Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In a previous video I asked the question, is it necessary to use any kind of fire sealant on consumer units and similar enclosures? And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. But since then I've come across this image that, I, that I'm going to share with you now, which is of an enclosure and uh, the person has used um, expanding foam to cover the cable entry at the top of the enclosure. And I'm not sure if the person who's done this has done this as an easy way to comply with the IP rating because um, the horizontal top surface of enclosures has to be IP4X. However, I don't remember seeing this kind of thing before 2015, which was when Amendment 3 of the 17th edition was introduced, which required consumer units and similar enclosures to be made of non-combustible material. Um, so in other words, metal. Um, and I'm just, I'm just wondering if there is a misconception there that because um, the enclosures have to be made of non-combustible material, I'm wondering if people think that we also need to use some kind of fire sealant um, on the cable entries and knockouts, which, which is not necessary at all. Um, we've never had to do that. So I'm not sure uh, what, what is the reason that the person has done this. I think it may be just as a, a quick and easy way to comply with the IP rating. But Literally, the best way to, to do this, in my opinion, what I would do is I would just use a bit of, bit of trunking to enclose the cables and to cover the, uh, the knockout there, just to, just to make sure that, uh, that there's no hole at the top of the enclosure. Um, I'd also put, if, if we're going to use mini trunking, I would also use some fire rated clips to make sure that the cables um, don't collapse in the event of a fire. Um, and that, that, yeah, that, that's what I would do. So it's, um, it's, it's a strange one. I'm not sure why a person would do this um, other than um, a, an easy way of complying with the IP rating or if it's because some kind of misconception that we somehow need to use um, a fire sealant or, or fire rated material to cover uh, cable entries for consumer units and similar enclosures. So what I'll do is I'll put the link to the previous video on my channel at the top of the screen and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.